hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we want to look at the column addition of three digits before we begin if you are new to my science tutorials kindly consider subscribing and turning on the notification button so that you do not miss any of our latest tutorials on this platform all right so let's start our video tutorial by looking at an example say example number one so we are to add the following so we have two, two, six, and four, seven, five. So what is going to be our answer? Now to add three digits numbers, we start adding from our right to our left. So in this direction. So we start from the ones to the tens and then to the hundreds. So the first thing we have to do is to add the one stems over here so that is six and five now six plus five is equal to eleven we do not have to write the two the eleven the total eleven over here we just have to write one of the ones that is the first one over here so we write that over here the second one over here we send it to the next column of numbers that is over here so we bring that one over here this one is the one at the top over here now we have 1 plus 2, which is 3, plus 7, and that is equal to 10. So we have 10. As usual, I write my right digit, which is the 0 over here. I write 0, and then the 1 that is left, I send it onto the next column of numbers. So the 1 comes over here. So that 1 plus 2 is now 3, plus 4 is now 7. So my answer is 700 and one let's have a look at another set of questions say we have seven four eight plus six six three what is going to be our answer over here we do the same thing we add eight to three eight plus three will give us eleven so we write the first one over here and then we send the next one onto the tenth column so it comes here one so one plus four will not give us five five plus six will give me eleven so that eleven i write the first one then i carry the second one onto the hundredth column so now i have one plus seven which is now eight eight plus six that will give me fourteen because I don't have any number after these guys, I can write the total 14 over here. So my final answer becomes 1,411. Alright, so let's have a look at another question. Say we have 243 plus 122. Very simple addition. Over here, we have 3 and 2. So 3 plus 2 will give us 5. We write down the 5. There is no number to be carried. So we move on to the next digits of numbers. So 4 and 2. 4 plus 2 will give me 6. So I write 6. There's nothing to carry. So I move to the next set of digits. That is 2 and 1. 2 plus 1 will give me 3. So I write down my 3 over here. So it means... My final answer over here is 365. Alright, so let's have a look at more exercise. So let's try our hands on this question. I. 844 plus 578. I. I. 775 plus three two eight and then lastly one 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 plus three three four all right so you can pause the video and add these numbers and then compare your answers after i'm done with my addition all right so the first thing i will do is to rewrite these three digit values in the column format so i have eight 
4, 4, then 5, 7, 8. My addition sign is over here. Note that I did not write 8, 4, 4, and then I, br I brought my 5, 7, 8 over here. No. All the numbers have to be arranged in the proper format. So the ones should be under ones, the tenth under tenth, and then hundred under hundred. So you don't write it like this, or you don't write eight four four, and then you bring five seven eight like this. No, make sure that all of them are perfectly aligned. All right. So let's go ahead and add our values. So we start by adding four and eight. Four plus eight will give us twelve. 1 and 2. So we write the 2 and then we carry the 1 over here onto the next set of digits to be added. So we write the 2 here. We carry 1 and we place it at the top over here. So 1 plus 4 will give us 5. 5 plus 7 will give us 12. So from that 12, we still write the 2 and then we carry 1. So that one will be brought onto this set of values. Now we have 1 plus 8, which is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. Because we don't have any numbers over here again, we just write our 14 over here. Note that in writing the 14, I wrote the 4 directly under this set of values over here. That is the 100th place value. And then I brought 1 onto the 1000th place value. So this become our answer for question number i all right so let's go ahead and look at ii so ii we have seven seven five plus three two eight okay so as usual we add five and eight five plus eight will give me 13 i write three and then the one i bring it to the top over here so one plus seven will give me eight plus two will give me ten rather than writing the whole ten i write the zero and then i send the one onto the next set of values to be added now i have one plus seven which is eight plus three and that will give me eleven so i cannot write that eleven over here so this becomes my answer for I, I. All right, so let's proceed to look at I, I, I. We have one, 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 and then three, three, four. Okay, so as usual, we add our ones term first. So it becomes one plus four, that will give me a five. 1 plus 3 will give me 4. 1 plus 3 will give me 4. So this becomes my answer after adding 111 and 334. So thank you so much for watching. This is how we add three digit numbers in the column format. So thank you once again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at the subtraction of three digit numbers. So without further ado, let's begin. So let's start by looking at an example. So we have to subtract 662 and uh, 452. So we subtract 452 from 662. Alright, so what is going to be our answer over here? So to do that, we write down our number 662, then we have 452. We make sure all of them are well aligned. Now we have to note that this is our ones column, this is our tens, and this is our hundred. Okay, so for us to do the subtraction, we subtract, we bring our subtraction sign here, we subtract the ones column. Then we move on to subtract the tens column and then we move on to subtract the hundreds column as well. So over here we have two at the top. Two minus two will give us zero for the ones column. 
So we move on to the tens column. 6 minus 5, that will give us 1. So we have 6 oranges. You give out 5 oranges, you'll be left with 1 orange. Now let's move on to the hundreds column. We have 6 over here, we have 4 over here. So 6 minus 4, that will give us 2. So our final answer over here is 210. Alright, so let's have a look at another example. So we have 519 minus 290. What is going to be our answer over here? So we do the exact same thing. We have 519, then we have 29 and 0. We bring our subtraction sign over here. So we start by subtracting the ones column as usual. So I have 9 minus 0. I have 9 oranges. Nothing has been taken out of it. So I still have 9 oranges left for my ones column. Now we move on to the tens column. We have 1 here minus 9. It is not possible. So I have 1 orange and I'm supposed to give 9 out. It's not possible. So I have to borrow to add to my 1 so that I have more apples to give out so i borrow one from the hundreds column i borrow one over here so if i borrow one from here to the tens column it becomes 10 so i add 10 to the one over here so if i borrow one from here i'm left with four that one will come over here and then it becomes 11 so the one and this one over here it becomes 11 that means the one that I borrowed from the 5 onto the 1 over here was 10. So 10 plus 1 becomes 11. So now 11 minus 9, that will give me 2. Because 9, 10, 11. So that is 2. So I write down my 2 over here. Now if I come to the hundreds column, I am left with only 4 and 2. So 4 minus 2, that will give me another 2. So this becomes my answer for 519 minus 290. All right, so let's have a look at more examples. So we have to find the difference between 359 and 310. Now note that subtraction, in mathematics, is the same as difference. So if you have a question that say find a difference, find a difference between let's say A and B, it means you have to subtract the numbers A and B. Find the difference or do the subtraction of the numbers A and B. So we have to find the difference between 359 and 310 so let's look at that writing them in our column manner we have 359 and then 310 we have our subtraction sign here and then we underline them now i have nine in the ones column nine minus zero will give me nine because nothing has been done to you nothing has been taken out of the nine so we are still left with nine now under the tens column i have five so 5 minus 1, that will give me 4. Now, under the hundreds column, I have 3 and 3. 3 minus 3 will give me 0. So my answer over here is 49. This becomes my answer for this particular example. Now let's have a look at another example. We have 663 minus 4, 2, 1. Let's have a look at that. So I have 663 here. And then 4, 2, 1. So let's find the difference. So over here, under the 1's column, I have 3 and 1. So 3 minus 1, that will give me 2. Under the 10's column, I have 6 and 2. So 6 minus 2, that will give me 4. Now I come to the 100's column. So 6 minus 4 that will give me two again so i have two four two here as my answer after subtracting six is three and four two one all right let's have a look at two more examples and we end this tutorial 
So say I have 590 minus 271. What is going to be my answer over here? So we do the exact same thing 590271. Mind you, this is our ones. This is our tens and then this is our hundreds so in doing the subtraction we subtract the ones column first then we move on to the tens and then we move on to the hundreds all right let me quickly erase those guys at the top okay so over here i have under the ones column zero minus one it is not possible to subtract one out of nothing because zero here is nothing i have no oranges at all that i'm supposed to give an orange out so i have to go and borrow so i come here to the tens column to borrow the nearest number to the ones is the tens column so i come here to borrow if i borrow one from here i'll be left with eight and i bring that one to the zero over here that one and then the zero becomes ten because like I said, the number you borrow onto the previous number, it is 10. So the one I borrowed from the 9 over here is 10. If I bring it to the 1's column over here, it becomes 10 plus 0, which is 10 over here. So 10 minus 1, that will give me 9. So I have my 9 over here. So under the 10's column, I'm left with 8 over here. Not the 9 again, 8. So 8 minus 7, that will give me 1. Now I come to the hundreds column. Five minus two, that will give me three. So five nine zero minus two seven one will give me three one nine. All right, let's have a look at another example. So I have three eight zero minus one nine two. What is going to be our answer? So I write my numbers three eight zero and then one. 92 I bring my subtraction sign here and I underline them so just like the example we saw earlier over here I have 0 minus 2 it is not possible for me to subtract 2 out of nothing so I need to borrow in borrowing I borrow from the 8 over here I'm left with 7 the one that I borrowed over here I bring it over here it becomes 10 so 10 minus 2 I am left with 8 over here. Now I come to this column. Now I am left with 7. 7 minus 9 is not possible. You get negative number, which we are not doing over here. So what I will do is I will borrow 1 again from the 3 over here. So I borrow 1 from here. I am left with 2. That one that I borrow, I bring it in front of the 7 over here. And it becomes 17. So now I have 17. 17 minus 9 that will give me 8 so 17 minus 9 here is 8 now i come to the hundreds color i have 2 here 2 minus 1 will give me 1 so 380 minus 192 will give me 188 so thank you so much for watching this is how we subtract three digit numbers to get our difference or our answer so thank you once again for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye